Okay. So uh, once again, uh, welcome to the second Omega Conference 2022 on water, megacities, and global change. Thank you to each and every one of you for being here with us today. We are very pleased to be able to welcome all of you to the opening ceremony of the Omega Innovation Challenge. Today marks the first day of the Omega Innovation Challenge, the first youth, also one of the first youth activities to take place in the Omega Conference. We are proud to be able to host it and share this wonderful platform with all of you. My name is Renan Shah, and I'm a member of the Omega Youth Steering Committee. Here with, and here with me are Elisabetta Anastrelli, Marketing Director of Zelem, as well as Vilena Ngipi and Paulina ramirez Covedo, who are also members of the Youth Steering Committee. Before we get started, let us all put the thank yous in place. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all of you who generously helped us make this event come together and make it a success. We are deeply grateful for the interest and participation of all the registered individuals, the members of the Omega Youth Steering Committee, Xylem for not only being the key sponsor of the Omega 2020, but also our co-host on this innovation challenge and UNESCO for co-organizing this. We couldn't have done it without you. We are here to give a start to the Omega Innovation Challenge, which has been called a 68 hours event where different teams will develop a project on water related data management challenge. 12 teams and for, of, uh, made out of 45 individuals have joined the activity and we are very pleased to welcome them. On the statistics front of it, we have 18 women and 27 men participants from 23 countries. Uh, we had initially shared three challenges, but due to insufficient participation for uh, challenge number two, we will, uh, in this edition, we'll just be working on the first and third challenge. The seven teams uh, will focus on challenge one, how good is your water? Making sustainable water management decisions in increasingly growing urban areas requires an improved understanding of water quality and availability over time. In this age of information overhaul, municipalities have access to a lot of data to monitor, predict, and control clean water management systems in urban areas, including flow, pressure, dissolved oxygen, pH level, conductivity, etc. But what is the real use of this data? Do we know uh, how could it be used to raise awareness and preserve the health and well-being of, of the end user? Hence, uh, to the seven teams working on challenge one, your challenge is to create a rewarding program that recognizes utilities meeting the sustainable clean water quality and availability targets through a continuous testing system. Moving on to this third challenge number three, where, where, which will be worked upon by five teams, it looks at how urban development can impact the dynamics of water supply and water demand. The water supply and demand, gap, um, uh, demand question has been there for decades. And so there is always an issue of, you know, what is the gap between your demand and supply, how close, it to, how, how close the gap is and so on and so forth. And in addition to uh, the, the, the you know, absolute water demand and supply, the change also gets exacerbated by climate change, uh, growing population, economic growth, and urbanization. Hence, uh, your challenge will be to produce a research-based concept that can turn into a white paper, guiding uh, municipalities to identify the intensity, duration, and frequency of possible water shortages, water shortage events, imposed by the growing urban developments and suggest solutions to minimize impact and raise uh, public awareness on, on water scarcity. Additionally, you can identify a team uh, and model some near-term drastic events due to urban developments that may impact water access and suggest a solution for public awareness on future challenges. As soon as this opening ceremony closes, all the teams will be able to reunite and also be able to ask for help during the whole challenge period for, uh, to the volunteers who have been mentioned on the Delco platform. You can reach out to them through the platform uh, as well as the space created for the Omega In Innovation Challenge by clicking on the profiles that are present in the info space. I think most of you all have already gone through the portal and you know how to you know, work your way around it. So today marks the first day. On January 12th and 13th uh, the, will, be the given, will be the time given for you all to create the solution for the chosen challenge. The team has to submit their project through a three pages document 
the template of which has been already sent out in PDF format, as well as a video pitch, which can be maximum of two minutes and which has to be uploaded. The last date, the last, the deadline for this upload, uploading and submitting your, um, uh, submitting your solutions is 1700 hours Paris time on January the 13th. Uh, the jury session will begin soon after you, the submission closes and uh, and by by the time the closing ceremony takes place at 10 30 paris time uh, uh, we will be able to announce the winners during the ceremony so uh, we would like to welcome the teams that are participating in this event seven teams will focus on challenge one how good is your water making sustainable water management decisions in increasing uh, uh, increasingly growing urban areas Required, uh, require, requires an improved understanding of urban water quality and availability over time. The teams have been given, uh, have been named uh, uh, using the different names of the mega cities across the world. So the first team we have is Istanbul, which has Imad Antoine Ibrahim, Mehek Agrawal, Ashik Iqbal, and Morad Gueresi. The second team is Buenos Aires, which has Mosa Ibrahim Barka, Aman Khan, Bikash Thapa, and Talal Nasir. Uh, in Kinshasa, in Team Kinshasa, we have Mike Mukendi, Melina Tobias, Almaz Kidare Mariam, and Halidu Alassan Hado. Moving to Dhaka, we have Rabia Suleri, Patrick Bebe, uh, Aditya Tiwadi, Aritro, and Aritro Sena. For New Delhi, we have Rishab Mehta, uh, Bhavar Vishwendra Raj Singh, Dr. Michelle Wayeb Yakub, and Caroline Lopez. Santos. Moving on to the five teams that are working on challenge three, we have uh, the challenge which is how urban development can impact the dy dynamics of urban uh, water supply and demand. We have in team Kuala Lumpur, Amrita Gautam, Ajay Kamle, Nunu Zongrana, and for you, Carlos Bintal. For Mexico City, we have Ronnie Okoro, Nia Nimen, uh, Amin Shakya, Adish Deep Shakya. For Lagos, we have Alexandro Giolo, Joseph Lionel Tilado Sanvidi, Zubair Ahmed, Tangdungan Loran Jiju. In Steen Steen Team Seoul, we have Noor Rabani, Ayushi Tiwari, Wasi Dese Kide, and Saini Gibba. In Team Karachi, we have Jermaine Lionel Mesoma Owana, Porsia Genkai Nwalem, Ravina More, and Ishita Sarkar. In Team Moscow, we have Ahana Ghosh, Juliana Satskiewicz, Muhammad Zufe, Huzefa Masood, sorry, Bidish, and the last team we have is Team Cairo. We have uh, the 12th team. We have Bidisha Mondal and Shuduf Hasto Godlev Mukwevo. We once again, uh, uh, apologies if I have mispronounced your name, uh, but we would like to thank you once again for your participation and we're looking forward to hearing about your great ideas and projects. And most importantly, please do not forget to have fun and enjoy the fruitful discussions and teamwork in the fall in the coming hours. Now, I would like to give the floor to our co-host and uh, co-host Selem and its representative, Ms. Elisabetta Anastreli. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rina, and good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for having me today. My name is Elisabetta Nastrelli and I'm marketing director in Thailand. Water, mega city and global change. What an interesting opportunity to make an impact for us all. Water impacts our everyday life and it's key to our survival. From meeting our personal needs to influencing the global economy and the well-being of our planet. As Rina said, factors like climate change, demographic transitions, and urbanizations are changing the face of our world, threatening global water supplies and water security. And in this age of information access, a large number of data is produced and collected concerning different water-related aspects, such as distribution, quality, and affordability. The availability of this data and their actualization is actually 
pretty much critical to the resilience of our water supplies around the world, especially in mega cities, where the relationship between water supply and water demand is increasingly raising concerns due to the progressively urbanized soils and population density. So far, water utilities have been stuck trying to balance priorities of time and resources. Now, in an effort to reduce operational costs and improve overall assets, water utilities are putting their data to work. But while smart water offers untold solutions, utilities seem to still be working to understand how to gather, manage, analyze, and share this information in such a way that it can alleviate ongoing water management challenges. Through the Omega Innovation Challenge, we are asking you, yes, all of you, to be part of the solution and bring your best ideas. We are looking for solutions that, are, that actually go beyond location and culture to further be developed within our Zalem Youth Incubator Program called Zalem Ignite, which aims at building the next generation of water leaders. Before you start solving water, selecting one of the two challenges that Rina well announced uh, prior to my um, slot today, challenge number one, how good is your water? And challenge number three, how urban development can impact the dynamics of water supply and water demand. Let me spend a couple of minutes to introduce Azalem, the company that I'm proud working for. Zalem is a leading global water technology company committed to solving critical water and infrastructure challenges with innovation. With more than 16,000 diverse employees around the globe, we devote time, talent, and passion to create a more sustainable world by enabling our customers and stakeholders to optimize water and wastewater resource management. And what is it? What, what do we do? We move, we test, we treat, we monitor water, helping communities in more than 150 countries to become water secured. So water is really the core of what we do and what we stand for. We invest in platforms like Omega Innovation Challenge and other initiatives to provide students and young professional with the opportunity to advocate, to make an impact and innovate for a sustainable water future. Your desire to participate in this challenge today is simply inspiring to me and a great reminder to, to us all of the energy and the commitment across generations to solve the world, world's greatest water issues. Let me take this opportunity to thank UNESCO, the Omega Youth Steering Committee, starting with Polina, who have worked and prepared um, this great event, and all the team that actually helped to bring this opportunity to life. In great appreciation of your um, participation today, I'm looking forward to meet and engage with you later on during this sixth 68 hour events. Have a wonderful experience, everyone. Don't forget to have fun. And hopefully, this is going to be a fruitful co conversation for us all. Thank you so much. And now, let me end over back to Rina. Thank you. Thank you, Elisabetta, for a detailed uh, uh, description of the work and the work Xylem does, as well as the challenges we have. Uh, can we now move to the questions uh, uh, and see if we have any questions? We were willing to take the questions from the participants who are there on the platform right now. If you have any questions, please put them in. Uh, we will be, we'll try to answer all the questions that you have at the moment. Okay. We've been told that there are no questions at the moment on the chat. I think we could give you a more minute or two to marinate all the things that you have heard and probably 
you know, since the next, uh, since you will probably start working immediately after this. So if you have any immediate questions regarding logistics, regarding how to work with your team, uh, you know, how to interact, how to get in touch or any other questions, uh, please uh, let us know currently because we also have the team who's working on the hackathon all at one place. Uh, oh, sorry, the, the Youth Innovation Challenge, all of us are present at the, at the in the same place, we might be able to handle your questions more efficiently. Thank you. Uh, so do we have anything that we missed? Maybe we can put out some important pointers that we have missed, but I think we covered almost all of them. If, uh, yeah. Also, I hope everybody was able to, um, you know, um, get the full sense of the presentation. Uh, I hope nobody had any technical difficulties in being able to listen to or access uh, our uh, this session. If you had, maybe we can make provision for, for those who missed and who would want to go back and listen, and we could provide some, uh, you know, from updates in the form of a recorded uh, video, or we could just, you know, get in touch through the platform at Delco. Okay, I think we have gotten one question, which is uh, says how to get in contact with the volunteers during the hackathon. And this is from Bidisha. Uh, um, so on the on the Idelco platform, when you go into the Omega uh, challenge, you have an info page and the info button. And that is where you can click and, you know, get in contact with the uh, with the uh, with the volunteers. Uh, any other pointers you would like to add, Paulina? If anything you would like to add. Okay, uh, maybe you can try doing the info part. And if you don't, there's also another provision to uh, you know request an appointment if it can be seen. So maybe you can get in touch through that. Yeah, yeah. As I mentioned, you can get in touch through the platform. There is an, a section which says info, so you can just get in touch with that. Uh, I think, uh, Elisabetta, would you like to take the next question? Uh, um, I'm not sure what the next question is. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, hi, I'm Ashik Iqbal from Bangladesh, and I have been assigned to Team Istanbul. I have completed my BSc in Civil Engineering and MSc in Water Resources Development. Happy to be here with you. It, yeah, I think it's from Archie. Yeah, okay. I think it's it's yeah. Probably maybe we can talk about how you know just uh, civil engineering and water resources development. How do you think he can contribute to the challenge? Yeah, first of all, uh, welcome, um, Ashki. Um, really nice to see you here. Uh, lovely to see that you're coming um, from Bangladesh and your background is also very much related to water uh, resource development. I would suggest uh, at any point in time to get in contact with any of the mentors and their supporters uh, through, throughout the challenge. And if you do have any water related questions. Obviously the team in Salem um, is available for you for you to, uh, or to support you and your team. Um, I would also invite uh, not only you, but the entire um, audience here to maybe tip in into Salem Ignite um, the page, the website, uh, to look into the different opportunities and, um, and uh, resources that we provide when it comes to activating inspiring and uh, igniting uh, key new talent, brilliant minds to help us solve in water. So um, there in the website, there is a, a lot of source of information uh, to get in some different insights. So please uh, do not hesitate to go and visit. Thank you, Elisabetta. Uh, and thank you, Ashik, for the question. 
so uh, another way in which you can get in touch with the volunteers if you're finding it a little difficult to navigate the platform is so this is your last option last resort if you cannot uh, you know work your way through the platform is you can email uh, to omega.youth at the rate gmail.com so it's e a u m e g a omega dot y o u t h youth at the rate gmail.com so or uh, you can visit the website where you had firstly you know applied registered for the uh, innovation challenge and there would also be a contact email which says omega.youth at the rate gmail.com but i hope that will be the last resort you take to and you know you find your space around the platform uh, okay Noor, uh, Noor has asked, uh, her question is related to groundwater modeling studies, but I think we can't get much out of that question. Probably Noor can get in, get in touch with us, you know, providing lit a little more context regarding what you want to talk about. Uh, um, yeah, so uh, Amrita has asked, as far as I understand, we are supposed to submit a solution through the link we are provided in the email and also mentioned here in the left sidebar, right? Uh, uh, so yeah, so it's either or. So either the button or the link we sent you through the email, it will take you to a Google form and that is where you will submit the solution. Yeah, thanks. Uh, do we have any other questions? We have we have a few minutes left for this session to end. I don't think there are any mm -hmm. other questions. Um, to address, and if they they are, uh, if there are, um, I would invite everyone to get in touch in, in you know through the platform, mm. uh, so that people can answer directly. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, if you have any technical questions, any questions regarding the challenges, please feel free to reach out to the team. Uh, who are behind uh, the Youth Innovation Challenge. I think maybe we'll reiterate uh, the deadline because we ha might have a few moments left. We can say that tomorrow and day after 12th and 13th where you'll be, we'll be working on the challenges and uh, uh, we'll expect the challenges uh, to uh, to you know to be to be submitted by the evening uh, of evening paris time of the 13th and that is when our analysis and you know analysis of the solutions and then deciding the winners will be there uh, okay another question regarding is you know who will who will submit the who is responsible for submitting the challenge solution and for that, uh, we ca you can, since the form, the form has a template where, you know, all the team members' names can be added. So we can, uh, you can submit the only one person who you probably assign as a team leader or, or who you assign as the one responsible for sending the email, filling the form can do it. So we are expecting, so we have 12 teams. So we're expecting 12 solutions and it can be sent by any one person 